hello my friends and welcome in this video i'm going to publish some of the videos on my online course how to create android apps with ionic framework and monetize with google admob okay so i just wanted you to have access to some of the content i'm also going to leave a link in the description if you check down you're going to see a link and a coupon code that you can use to um, register and get the course for less than ten dollars okay all right thank you so much and enjoy the video all right, welcome back guys so in this one i'm going to show you how to create a your custom color okay so we're going to maybe create a color like purple okay so let let's go to our toolkit and we are in the color um tab here um, if you scroll down just a bit you'll see that below the color the default colors that come to, with ionic we have this text so here it says to create custom color variables visit this link so it's going to open in a new tab okay now it says navigate to well maybe we should do one step at a time so this is the link and um, what i'm going to do is i'm going to scroll down just so just scroll down to new color creator okay so I'm trying to be as slow as possible in this part so that you can actually get everything. So you see, I think I can make this bigger. So control plus. All right. So here it says new color creator. Now to create a new color, what you need to do first is you need to give the color a name. So I'm going to name this color purple. So everything is small letter. Okay. And then I'm going to set the color. So I'll just click here and okay well i'm not very great at with colors okay but i think this is actually purple all right so this is fine okay for the purpose of this um tutorial um for the purpose of this video sorry so when you create when you select your color so like what i did i just clicked on this guy here and i you know set my color so you can just drag your color here and then set the shade of the color right now what you need to do is you need to copy this um, pieces of code or these pieces of text okay this is actually um, CSS okay so but let me show you how you're going to do that so I'll go back to my toolkit and first off you need to navigate to to go in your app folder and then you need to go to the source and then themes and then variables.scss okay so let's bring up the uh, code editor okay and i'll open my file explorer and let me just you know shrink everything so this is the app folder my first app and then source i'll click on it and then i'm not interested in this i'm interested in themes okay that's what we said we want to do here so app folder source themes and variable.scss so um themes so i'll click on themes and then you see that we have variable.scss inside of themes okay so you see we have something similar to what we have on this page okay root and blah 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 so let me come here now you see here we have primary secondary and tertiary so basically all the colors we are currently using success the default color variables that come with ionic they are here already okay and let me just scroll up they are inside this root um, selector okay you don't actually need to know what this means i just need you to know that the color variables are inside okay if you know what the, what the root selector means great but you don't actually need to know it to create your own color variables okay so the first thing we are going to do is we're going to come to this color we've generated and we're going to get the console we don't we are not going to copy the root because we already have a root um, selector so we're going to copy the content of this guy here okay you see we didn't copy the root and we didn't copy this end um colibris so i'll just 
copy this control C and then I'll go back to my code editor and then I'll just come here come down so maybe what I'll do is first I'll add a comment so I'll just to add a comment you just need to press control and forward slash it will add the comments it's the same thing and then I'll say purple okay and then I'll come down to the next line give some space and I'll paste in my color variable so this is the purple right good that's the first step now the second step is this part here ion color purple now for this one you're actually going to copy everything okay so from here up here and then I'll do control C to copy and then let's go back you're not putting it inside the roots let me see if there is a documentation uh, okay they didn't specify that okay but then I'll show you you're not putting this second um, guy you copied here inside of the root okay so this is the root and you see that there's a line here so if I keep scrolling down you see the line keeps going with me up to where it ends so it ends here right you're not putting that second set of you know color variables inside of this one rather you want to scroll down okay so let me just keep scrolling down okay just a minute let me be sure of where i want to paste it all right so you are going to paste it just after the closing um curly braids here okay so let me just go up um to to control z control z z okay so let me just repeat that and so this is the root tag here root selector here i'll click on it and you see that there's a line that goes down to the end of the root selector okay so when you get to the end of the root selector come to the next line and paste in the second set of um, variables you copied okay and then save okay that's all you need to do now let's go back to our home page and let's go ahead and minimize this guy here so this is our app and what are we going to change let's change this first one that says color primary let's change it to the purple variable so I'll come and I'll locate the icon so this is the icon so we have home here just below the icon and I'll change the color here to purple so P U R P L E and then I'll save so let's see what happens Voila. So you see now we now have our own custom color. So basically that's how you can create a custom color. You use the Ion, um, Ionic, um, Ionic Framework Color Creator with that. So if you, if you missed any part of this video, you can simply just go back and rewatch it and make sure that you understand it. And if you have any questions, just reach out to me. I'm here to help. All right. Thank you so much for watching this one. See you in the next one.